Comic. Hey, Ace of the Comic here. Let's talk about The Last Airbender. Now, how come it's not called Avatar The Last Airbender? That's because James Cameron already has a copyright to it. But they've been calling it Avatar on Nick Jr. for the last 10 years. I'm confused. Tell you what, I'm gonna call it Avatar The Last Airbender. You're gonna get in trouble. IDC. Leave. So M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong is on it's board. Shyamalan. Get your, my clones, get your thick neck ass. Like I said, M. Night, Tezande's brother, is on board for the film. There's concerns that his presence might, not just the big name, his name always has to be on big marquee on the top, even though he didn't create The Last Airbender Avatar. But anyway, some fans are feeling like maybe the movie won't stay true to the film's like fun natured intensity, but M.I.O., I feel like it'll still be a pretty good film. Now, just because M. Night rewrote uh, wrote the script does not mean that he's taking over. But technically, that does mean he's taking over. Lee! M. Night is pretty good. You know, he did Stuart Little. He did Sixth Sense. I see dead hookers. You remember. Bruce Willis is playing Aang. I'm just playing. But that's not such a bad idea. Because, I mean, they would save a lot of money on hairstylists because I mean it's not like he'd have to shave his head bald they save about a thousand dollars on the hairstylist just an idea now with this film they did something interesting they went with virtual unknowns um interesting boring Dave Patel is playing Prince Zuko Jackson Rathbone is playing Sokka he was in Twilight and Nicola Peltz is playing Katara she was in a Miley Cyrus video hey Miley Cyrus is kind of a big deal <laughs> That's what Justin said. What's Avatar The Last Airbender about? Well, you tell me. Are you a fan? If you're a true fan, you tell me. I'm just playing. No, basically, Katara and Sokka run across an ice thing and they see this kid inside and he happens to be the long lost last airbender who is thought of as mystical mythological and Sokka and Katara are there to protect him as he develops his power to fight the dreaded Fire Nation because the Fire Nation is trying to get rid of everyone just like the producers at the Iron Man movie was trying to get rid of Terrence Howard except they succeeded but I don't think the Fire Nation is going to succeed in getting rid of Aang. Aang's got it. Overall, judging from the fact that Avatar The Last Airbender's creators are meticulous about bringing authenticity, you don't have to worry about a thing. I think it'll be pretty entertaining. Me? I'm gonna be at the midnight premiere with a huge $10 bucket of popcorn with extra, extra butter. Big deal, he's blowing air. See you? I'm gonna take this and knock some air inside your mother head if you don't get back in your phone chamber. Now move!